We spent the week straddling worlds, at times searching to find the words to summarize the journey, traveling back and forth from enslavement to present day, from the waters of the Atlantic. We visited Gory Island, stood on the banks of the Ohio River. Now we find ourselves in South Carolina, a state rich in history, cultivated by the reality of enslavement. In Lexington, two homes that sit across from each other, divided by yet another body of water. Two homes where my great-great-great-grandparents, Hannah and Warren Lorick, were enslaved. This journey was always destined as long as we followed the breadcrumbs. History always leaves breadcrumbs. From Kentucky to South Carolina, they were calling. Echoes from enslaved labor farms and unmarked graves. Whispers that travel through space and time and history. Everyone longs to be heard. Even beneath the soil, souls weep for justice. We must open our hearts and be willing to listen. In seeking to understand the past, We must remember the resilience of those whose livelihood and freedom were stolen so that others could build empires and generational wealth, subjecting people who had every right to be free to create things they would never own or benefit from. Understand that a caged bird will always long to fly. Everyone desires to be free to pursue their own happiness. I sat on the porch and rocked in the huge white rocking chair, imagining Hannah and Warren could see me. I remember when I wrote the words, asking, where did you come from? And when you dreamed, what did you dream of? I wonder if Hannah ever dreamed that one day her great-great-great-granddaughter would sit in the very space where she was enslaved as a free woman. Did she ever imagine that my daughter, her great-great-great-great-granddaughter, would walk the grounds where she was enslaved? Did she ever imagine that one day we would return to this space where she faced pain and heartache and offer a reminder that she was here. Hannah and Warren existed, and so did the other 125 people that were enslaved at the Lord Plantations for generations. They were here. We each play a role in understanding what happened in the past and how it shapes our world today, including the systems that impact well-being, sense of belonging, and pride. We can work to create the world we deserve, the world that Hannah and Warren deserved. If not now, then when? Today, people are working to ban books and topics, from black history to stories about LGBTQ people. We must refuse to go backwards. Our job is to move forward. We must be bold in facing ourselves to find ourselves. Recounting the world as it was, not as we wish it had been. Understanding that we do not heal by hiding the truth. We heal by facing the truth. You sharing the truth about the past can free someone else today. We believe that acknowledging starts the building block on the road to reconciliation. This journey has been illuminating and heartbreaking. There have been tears but there's also been laughter. There's been sadness, but there's also been hope. The universe put us on this journey together, one that feels so natural that we couldn't have planned how the many parts of our work would bring us to this day. And we continue to prepare for the road ahead.